Hello everyone, how are you? I'm gonna make a video real quick. Um, I'm in Chile. Uh, last time I made a video was about maybe two years ago and that was in, well, we're still in Korea. So I'm here in Chile, I've been back for about, about a year and a half and uh, lots of stuff's been going on. But anyway, I wanted to talk about a, um, a really important uh, part of Chilean life and that is a well, it's not a candy bar it's a kind of candy bar it's uh, actually it might be in reverse it's called a super ocho and so if you talk to anybody from chile they know about this and they're going to talk about it like it's the best thing in the world and uh it is pretty good right i i mean i i really like it it's uh kind of a chocolatey thing and um and it's got like, kind of like a wafer texture. In fact, they, they are wafers inside. Oh, I can buy it. Oh, you can see that. It's good. Now, and they sell these everywhere. And they sell them for a hundred. Well, usually on the streets you can get them. If you get them in the supermarket, they go for... I think about 160 pesos. But if you buy them on the street, which uh, these are sold on almost on many street corners when, you, when you're driving your car and you stop the car, peop, um, there's a lot of vendedores uh, ambulantes, they call them, uh, um, you know, um, I guess street vendors just walking around on the corners and they sell these super rochos. That's one for 300 pesos, two for 500 two 500 pesos and uh and once you buy them once if your kids are in the back of the car then every time they stop they'll be like super ocho super ocho they want a super ocho now there's just a couple things i want to bring up about this this is a pretty good bar a good pretty good thing uh my i feel like it'd be a little bit better if it were a, a bit denser like it just feel like I, I usually i feel like if i'm in my car i i eat these like in I, I only buy them when I'm like really crashing. I'm just like, oh, I need something. I don't know if I'm going to make it. I need some kind of sugar. And it's not there. It's not very often, but so, but, it, but it does happen. And, or like for a special occasion, the kids are in the car and they want to get a Super Ocho. Um, but it just seems like it'd be nicer if it were a bit more difficult to bite through. Like watch how easily my teeth sink through this. But it's too airy. Yummy. My area. The other thing that I would bring up about the Super Ocho is that um, the name. What's up with the name? Super Ocho. So I was thinking that that it was eight centimeters, but it's two. It's longer than eight centimeters. That's much longer than eight centimeters. And I, I, I wish I had a, a ruler with me, but I'm thinking this is actually eight inches, which is strange because in Chile we're on a metric system. So um, maybe I could save that for another video. I can get a you know a ruler or something out and measure it and see if I can confirm where does the name, su I mean super super, but eight. They call it super ocho. Because, yeah. Anyway, but so a big kind of point of contention with me for a long time with the Super Ocho was the density issue. I really felt like I needed something a bit uh, chewier or not chewy. I don't want not chewy, but just, just denser. The other day, now I'm in the north of Chile now, before I was down in Santiago. In Santiago, this is the only thing I've ever seen with regards to Super Ocho. This is in a supermarket. It would normally run about 160 pesos. I was in a, a Jumbo here. It's like a, it's a supermarket, a big supermarket. And suddenly, OMG, look at this. Super Ocho 2.0. I don't know if you can see that. It's, yeah, it's a little 2.0, like uh, kind of, you know, a better version. And it says here, Mani. Now, Mani, Mani, 
are peanuts in Chilean Spanish. So now I haven't, I have never, I've never tried this before. So this is all going to be new and I'm going to, I mean, I'm going to try this for the first time. Now this blows my mind. Now you can even feel it now. This has got a little bit more weight on it. The other, the Super Ocho is just, there's nothing there, nothing there. But here you, you definitely feel something. And, um, and I'm thinking this might solve the density issue with that crunchy peanut, and especially if they're full peanuts. This is going to be pretty trippy. Now, uh, 650 pesos. So it's a, it's a it's quite a step up. 650 pesos is a is over a dollar. This is a, this is over a dollar. Too much, too much money. So I'm uh, opening this sucker up, and I've and I've been talking to my wife about this now for few weeks that I wanted to now let's just uh, let's get it out of the package and uh, whoa just right off the bit you can see now that looks like um, not full-on peanuts but it looks like a peanuty uh, little, little little pieces of peanut there you see that all right let's do it I like the taste. Okay. So the with regards to peanuts is not what I was thinking. I was thinking full on peanuts. Kind of layered throughout this thing where I'd get a quite a crunch this is more like a uh, peanut flakes that are along and only along the top they are not if they are inside the bar I cannot really sense them texturally so once you bite into it it's not you don't really and you barely can taste the peanuts barely taste them I'm having a bigger bite A little bit. It's pretty good. Mmm. I forgot I got some bought some milk up here. Mmm. It's pretty good. But the question is this. Would I buy this again for a dollar, over a dollar? And I'm not sure I would. It seems like just for the dollar to put the, I mean, because basically this is all it seems to me. It's a little, it seems a little denser, but not much. Not much denser. Mm, I, I like it. I like it better than the other one. I like this better. But um, I'm not sure I'd go the full 650 pesos on a regular basis. You know, you, when you're talking about the Super Ocho, a hunt, you know, 200 pesos, 250 pesos. Yeah, why not, right? Um, but this, this is you know, the dollar. So I'm not sure. Uh, do you like milk? Well, anyway, that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video. I uh, I'll finish this. It is uh, it's pretty good. Um, if you get to Chile, definitely pick up a Super Ocho. And if you find this, but I, I didn't even, I've never seen this in Santiago before. And I was there all year and a half. And now when I used to live here years ago, never, never saw it. This is a totally new thing. My wife is Chilean. I asked her about it. 
I said, hey, um, have you ever seen this? Uh, she's like, never seen that before in my life. So it's uh, totally new. Anyway, ciao.